All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom office, and uh, man, I've had a lot of fun the last couple of days. Went down to Georgia, uh, actually Hinesville, Georgia, down there near Fort Stewart, and uh, spent some time with the guys from Big Daddy Unlimited at the Epic Shoot. Uh, there was something that was brought up about those guys participating in a gun buyback plan uh, down there in Gainesville, Georgia, uh, Gainesville, Florida. And guys, uh, while it appears to be really bad, a lot of people jumped a gun. Well, uh, basically, they were there to kind of uh, provide people an alternative to turning in their firearms by donating over, I, I guess, like a hundred and something, either cable locks or hand safes or something like that, which I thought was a really cool deal. Uh, some people jumped a gun and, you know, cried wolf on this whole thing. And if it's, a, you know, if it even appears like it's somewhat against the Second Amendment, people will j go crazy. And they did. So anyway, when they made comments about the Big Daddy Unlimited thing, I just wanted to clear that up. I wasn't even paying attention to it because basically I've been isolated from the news lately. So in any case, I had a great time. I did run into some individuals who uh, are created and brought some new uh, items to the market which I'm very excited because a lot of times you show up at these gun events and it's the same thing. It's the same old people. It's the same stuff. Spent some good time, hung out with a lot of YouTubers down there. It was a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, but the reason that this video is we're going to talk about the Veterans Affairs. Last week, I mean, it kind of coincides with the whole thing, hand safes, cable locks, things like that. I mean, you guys know the first thing that we do when we get a firearm, we just take the cable lock and throw it in the trash or, uh, you know, or in a drawer or whatever it is. Um, but in, the, in some cases, a cable lock may be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. I'm wanting you guys to give me your input on this. Uh, so I was sitting there watching TV one day, and uh, the Veterans Affairs, the VA, put out a commercial in an effort to help, uh, in their minds, prevent veteran suicide. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this, but... Uh, so many people, 22 a day on average, are taking their own lives because of the incredible events that they endured while they were in combat. We're going to share this commercial with you uh, because I felt like it was it made a huge impact on me. But I'm not sure it is Veterans Affair. Are they, are they uh, tampering with our Second Amendment rights by this? You let me know. We're going to watch it. It's slightly modified. I've been shortening it up from a minute to just a couple of about 45 seconds. So here we go. Watch this video, and I'm going to come back to you. And in the comments section, I want you to let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, here we go. Stand by. Are you tired of being repeatedly thanked and told you're a hero? We knew we weren't going to win that one. Thank you for your service. Are you sick of statistics because you're so confident you'll never become one? Crisis can happen unexpectedly to anyone. And though it may seem like a small barrier, a simple lock puts space between the thought and the trigger. Learn how securing your guns can help prevent suicide. All right, so first of all, let's just say that that, that video was very powerful. Uh, you know, we've all been in a situation, especially you guys have been in combat, uh, where, uh, you know, you're at a party or something like that, and everybody's asking questions, how many people did you kill, and all this other stuff. So, you know, people always ask me, thank you for your service. I said, hell, I just did what my dad told me I had to do. <laughs> it was the alternative. I, he wasn't paying for college, and I didn't have the money to go to college without the military. But in any case, at the end of the video, they are saying that, you know, just putting a couple seconds between the availability of a firearm and that moment of the ultimate decision, can that save a person's life? I'm going to say it probably can. But it's up to that individual as a person to have to make that choice to provide themselves with a couple extra seconds to make that wise decision to save their own life. Okay. This is a very touchy subject and I'm not, can, I, I, I don't know what to say to this. Uh, yeah. Pros and cons. It, it's an amazing event. I want you guys to let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, is the VA in, in treat in, Well, I guess, uh, are they creating a conflict for our Second Amendment rights? Or are they doing a good thing with this commercial? You let me know. It's KB32. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not free. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.